It's my pleasure to welcome you to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. In particular, I'd like to welcome our graduands whose magnificent achievement and hard work we're here to celebrate. We're also delighted to be joined by so many family members and friends. We welcome you to the university and thank you for the support and encouragement you've given your, our graduates during their studies. You can be justifiably proud of their achievements, as are their tutors and all the staff and members of, of their school and faculties. When those of you graduating today uh, chose to study at the University of Manchester, you decided to make a major investment in your future. Today, that investment is realized. During the course of your studies, you will have gained knowledge and skills which we hope will help you find success in future years. But also, the way you've balanced the commitment to academic life with other interests and the many competing distractions that this great city of Manchester has to offer will help you find a work-life balance as your career and your future unfold. Most of you will also have forged strong, supportive friendships and relationships, which we hope will last for many years to come. In summary, your degree should give you a strong platform on which to build a career and achieve your goals. Your achievement in completing it cannot be overestimated. And there's every reason to be positive about the future. Your job prospects, having studied here, are enviable because employers from around the world recognize the value of the piece of paper that you'll soon hold in your hand. Manchester's already one of the finest universities in Europe, but we're determined to become one of the best in the world. Our ambitious plan is to lift Manchester into the first rank of virtuosity in higher learning. At the very core of our vision is a major investment in buildings, infrastructure and facilities, and a commitment to the highest standards in research and scholarship. But it isn't the bricks and mortar, the physical infrastructure, or even the academic achievements that make this university great and successful. It's our staff, our students, our people. During your studies, you have each in your own way enriched, shaped, and molded the university to the tremendous benefit of those who will follow in your footsteps. By reflecting on your experiences and telling us how we could make them even better, you have given us the blueprint to achieve our bold ambition to be amongst the best in the world. The university is changing, and changing, uh, and, and will continue to change for the better because of you. So today is as much about honoring you for this valuable contribution as making the successful, marking the successful conclusion to your academic studies. Obtaining your degree is hugely important, and you should celebrate your success. But this is the beginning of the journey, not the end. Uh, and we hope that your, con that your association with Manchester will continue for many years to come. The return on your investment continues beyond today's celebration uh, and, and, uh, and formal ceremonial. Sorry. Our career service will offer you help and support for a further three years, and you can continue to make good use of our world-class libraries. The Alumni Association will help you remain in contact with the university, linking you with a, co with a community of more than a quarter of a million pre pre previous students living and working across the globe. As alumni, you can continue to help future students in many ways, as ambassadors of the university in student placements and employment, and directly in the development of the university, which is vital to its future. So, we sincerely hope that today will not be your last contact with the university. Remember that our doors are always open to you. So with that, I'll now ask my, uh, Professor Michael Luger to say a few words on behalf of Manchester Business School.
Professor Taylor, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, most important graduands. Good evening. Thank you. <laughs> to become a professor at a research university like Manchester, one has to have earned a number of academic degrees. My bachelor's, my master's, my PhD diplomas hang proudly on my office wall. For those of you who visited me in my office, they're right next to President Eisenhower, uh, Roosevelt, and Johnson. Um, this means I've attended a lot of commencement exercises before I had the privilege uh, to officiate at any. As I think back to my many graduations, I'm hard pressed to remember who spoke at them, let alone what they might have said. So I stand before you today with no pretense that I'll say something earth-shaking and life trans transforming that you remember for many years to come. Rather, more humbly, I recognize that the longer I speak, the longer it'll take you to walk up those stairs and get your diploma and then go to dinner and the activities you have planned for later today. So I will be mercifully brief. As head of, my, as head of the business school, it's my duty and distinct pleasure to congratulate you for your accomplishments that brought you here today. We've enjoyed having you as students, and we hope we've imparted something of value to you. We wish you the greatest success and happiness as you take the next step in your careers. I send this message to you on behalf of all my colleagues at, at Manchester Business School, the professional staff, the academic staff, some 500 people, the professional staff who help solve all your problems, the academic staff who create them, no, <laughs> the academic staff who inspire you through their teaching and, and, and their mentoring, I'd like my colleagues, please, to stand um, so we can thank them for what they do for all of our students. Please. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, the one takeaway I hope you have from my comments this evening uh, relates to your immediate circumstance. You're leaving the university at one of the most precarious times um, in, in economically in modern history. The financial meltdown of 2008, the subsequent long recession and anemic recovery, the extreme levels of public debt, and the draconian measures that are being implemented by governments around the world all have consequences for you as job seekers, employees, and citizens. And that applies whether you're British, continental European, Asian, American, wherever you may come from. We can't escape these harsh realities. They're reported in the newspaper every day, in magazines, in books, on the radio and TV news. We're told that it'll take no less than 10 years to return to normal, whatever that might be. And we're told that your generation will be the first since the Second World War, in general, not to have done better economically than your parents. My message is this. Don't be disheartened by these doom and gloom messages. At best, they're overstated. At worst, they're mere generalizations that won't apply to you. After all, you now have a Manchester education. That makes you particularly attractive to employers, as Professor Taylor pointed out. But more than that, you should have the skills and knowledge to figure out how to find opportunity, even in adverse conditions. And the history of past recessions, there are many examples of success. A recent study by the Kaufman Foundation for Entrepreneurship concludes that it's li it is as likely for a company to be, to be started in a recession as it is during good times. Companies like Genentech, Microsoft, Southwest Airlines, Genzyme are a few of the many companies that were started during recessions. Sometimes these startups are of necessity. Clever people like yourselves find themselves out of work or they can't advance in their jobs. And rather than being idle, they strike out on their own, implementing some idea they've been mulling for some time. And sometimes it's the economics of the recession itself that drives success. The opportunity to pick up an asset at a bargain basement price and do something meaningful with it, for example. Whatever the motivation, there are record numbers of enterprising young people. According to the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor, over 20% of working age population in the UK either expected to start a business, are currently starting a business, or recently started a business in the last three years. This, these numbers are unprecedented, the largest amount of entrepreneurship in modern history. But not all of you will be entrepreneurs. Those who seek to be employed need to go into the marketplace with the attitude that now more than ever, companies need you to help them be more productive and efficient. In downturns, the smart employers will shed unproductive workers in favor, in favor of those well-trained with the kind of credentials you now have. Those workers are you. Indeed, MBS graduates from all our programs do well in the job market, 
both in terms of finding good jobs in reasonably short periods of time and in terms of the salaries they command. And those outcomes account in part for the high rankings we enjoy in many league tables. I should say something about our PhD students as well. You too have robust prospects. Perhaps the number one ranking of our PhD program in the Financial Times drives our reputation. And I'm heartened when I go around the world and I meet our PhD alumni who are in positions of academic significance in the top universities all over the globe. So I've told you something you don't have to remember 20 years from now, but only for the next few months. Now more than ever, you're fortunate to have your Manchester degree. Go out from here with confidence, look carefully at your opportunities, draw on your education and skills, and for sure, you will succeed. Again, as Prof Professor Taylor pointed out, it's really important for you to stay in touch with us. We want to know how you're faring. Your success is our success. You're a member of a large group, not only of your colleagues that you studied with, but of some 49,000 Manchester alumni scattered all over the world, and that is a tremendous asset for you. Please keep in touch with us, come back to the school, uh, tune in to, to Twitter and other social media sites, and help us prosper in the years ahead. You're bound to us as a family for the rest of your careers. So with that, I thank you for coming this afternoon. I wish you all the best, and congratulations once again. Now I'll ask Professor Kathy Cassell, the Deputy Director of MBS, to come forward. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Business Administration, Maria de Fatima Carioca. <clears throat> and for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Cletus Agnemium Boteng. Mahmoud Saeed Mustafa Alalawi. <laughs> Lassan Dahasi da Silva. <laughs> Beatrice de Ippolito. Yu Jung Ha. <laughs> no Hashim. <laughs> Roman Kislov. Kwong Man Ungayan. <laughs> Edward Stephen Room. Chi Yurozu. And for the degree of Master of Philosophy in Business Administration, Linda Joanne Cowie. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Business in Global Business Analysis, Adi Hutan Amal. Meng Bian. <laughs> Ji 
Ting Ting Chen. Carlos Rafael Conheo Rojas. <laughs> Jing Fang Dong. <laughs> Zhang Gao. <laughs> Jun He Juan. Jiong. Karan Jindal. <laughs> Garima Juneja. <laughs> Minhan Kuo. <laughs> Uraola Ladijobi. Chitrapa Lertwich Tranum. <laughs> Heta Anyu Lin. <laughs> Utsa Malhotra. <laughs> Faizan Jawed Mansuri. Mohammed Bilal Moon. <laughs> Tatiana Marinska. <laughs> Oprah Amy Moradeo Obi. Nan Lin. <laughs> Agnieszka Magdalena Azog. <laughs> Warawan Pantapalin. Givan Peter Patel. <laughs> Vaisali Ravi Kumar. <laughs> Namrata Sama. <clears throat> Natalie Sauber. <laughs> Chamni Sedi. <laughs> Niharihi Singh. Piranat Sirivon Grunkson. <laughs> Roberto Vitale, who is also the winner of the Student of the Year on this particular program. <laughs> Xu Wang. Mm -hmm. 
Xiaoni Wen. Likun Wu. Shenji Zhu. And for the degree of Master of Science in Healthcare Management, Omohowo Martin Adedera. And in Information Systems Business IT, Dima Khalid M. Al Fetnu. Padmashri Banu Anantha. Farman Baig. Clitty Boosie. Omololo Olulade Dade. Saeed Mohammed Kazim Hydri. Brahadishwa Kathikayan. <laughs> Rahul Ajit Kashalka. <clears throat> Sebastian Matthew. Rashmi Sagal. <laughs> Alexis Stavrou. <laughs> Yusuf Adriansha Tejuawa Hono. Mikhail Selinka. <clears throat> Alexander Vyach Aslovich Zimin. <clears throat> and in information systems, e business technology, Willie Sabri. Jane Alexi M. Spencer. <laughs> Shamsuddin Yakubu Tanko. <clears throat> and in Information Systems, Organizations and Management, Mohammed Suhayeb Ali. Dalia Antonelli. <clears throat> Utam Bansal. <clears throat> Mohammed Izat Hilmi bin Wahid. Jung Hook Cha <laughs> Rashid Chowdhury <laughs> James Duncan Cameron Clark. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Anna Maria Florescu, who is also the winner of the Student of the Year on this particular programme. <clears throat> Maria Manuela Gutierrez Liefmans. Subninda Singh Kahera. <clears throat> Jingwang Xiao. <clears throat> Lisi. Weiwei Zhang. <laughs> and in managerial psychology, you are Borowiak. And in organizational psychology, Michael Eunice. <laughs> Paul Harris. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Business Administration, the Manchester Global MBA, we have Tatiana Arkipova. <laughs> Epamine Ondas Ephemiu. <laughs> Loea Hamad Akuli. <laughs> Cordell Lee Hensley. Olobicola Cajero. <clears throat> Ganesh Mahesh Kumar. <clears throat> Shirley Ozarugu Stephanie Okidi. Rajago Polan Bashiam Poyapakam <laughs> Salam Saab <laughs> Jeevanantham Samiapa Kate Ellen Sawbridge. <laughs> Joanna Scott. <laughs> Bilkis Adabasola Shitu. <clears throat> And for the Manchester Global MBA Accelerated, Fabio Di Premier. <laughs> Artem Diachenko. <laughs> David Finlay Ferguson Halliday.
Kevin Heinsen. Majid Mackey. Sajad Mansour. <clears throat> Paul Norcott. Yogesh Prasad. Ola Kunle Ife Alua Salami. Nashat Salman. George Sharas Shidza. Pavel Slobodian. Alan Plesner Sondergaard. <clears throat> Stephen Edward Sullivan. Robert Eric Edgar Zubek. And for the Manchester Global MBA Finance Accelerated, Kenneth Scully. And for the Master of Business Administration in Entrepreneurship, Paul Edwin Hines. <laughs> Alex Nathaniel Llewellyn Jones. <laughs> Andrew John Vincent. And for the Masters of Business Administration, Aki Hakim Abayomi Abdo. <clears throat> Suhaib Adub Aye. <clears throat> Ksenia Agapova. Taufik Abiodun Ajani. <laughs> Sama Hussein Al Salhi. <laughs> Ravi Anand. Nonya Nwagwobo Anombem. Christopher Armstrong. <laughs> Thierry Rene Gabriel Bertu. Glenn Ashley Carney. <laughs> Gareth John Chaffer. <laughs> Ed
Yong Chen. Vitaly Chernoff. Chiyong Bosco Chin Wan. <laughs> Pedram Chirumzade Dashti. <laughs> Kelly Dallas. Scott Thomas Dargan. <laughs> Saroob Kumar Deshmukh. <laughs> Kingsley Kofi Ditsa. Anokwa Donko. <laughs> Emmanuel Uche Chukwu Duru. <laughs> Andrea Dwarika. Dina Adele Albana. <laughs> Myra El Kahuri. <laughs> Ahmed Farouk Abdel Hamid El Sayer. Siam Erm Ling Christabel. Fasli Mohammed Falilaldin. Yong Fu Ken Kenny. Ayman M. Galal. <laughs> William A. Gregory. <laughs> Benjamin Robert Hill. Sarah Camilla Horsley. <laughs> Paul Teresi Imogu. <laughs> Sanjit Senaka Karikiwara Godaj. Idrus Muharis Kamalati. <laughs> Theodore Karkaletsis. <laughs> Tugba Kasapas. Darren Christopher Kershaw. <laughs> 
Sanchit Khandelwal. You, Chris Cock Kit. Ong Kuang Ling Dorinda. Lam Tuk Kiong. <laughs> Peter Lee. Yo Li Kiang Christine. <laughs> Kang Li. <laughs> Xiao Liang. Emma Ruth Lindley. <laughs> Kui Hui Ling. <laughs> Ibrahim Charles Eli Luca. Sukai Lu. <laughs> Amit Ram Prakash Mahashwari. <clears throat> Manuel Mariner. Alejandro Martinez. <laughs> Isaac Martinez Sabate. Adrian R. May. Lita Embo Kofo. <laughs> Machaba Motamedi. <laughs> Omar Mohammed Yassin Abu El Nur. Michael Jared Murphy. <laughs> Unimi Obot. <laughs> Olumi Yia Olufoti. Abayomi Adelo 
Oluk Bedro. Robina Bossibori Amosa. Taifun Osse. Ganison Peria Kalopan. David Gary Phelan. <laughs> Paresh Pindolia. <laughs> Ali Aziz Qureshi. Selva Kumar Rajulu. <laughs> Jennifer Karen Samuels. <laughs> Migna Kaya Satwiha. Victor Walter Edward Selwood. <laughs> Andrew Sen. <laughs> Grigory Schwarzman. Mariam Siddiqui. <laughs> Tian Siu Lu. <laughs> Lee, sorry. <laughs> Gareth John Spencer. David Mark Stanny. <laughs> Craig Alistair Steed. <laughs> Woo Sweet Lamb. Sybil Tam. <laughs> Kilem Miguel Vieira Taviera Pinto. <laughs> Safia Jif Tupale Karthik. Ivan Wim Tijonga Hong. <clears throat> Nassim Ul Haq. <clears throat> Nicolaos Vandoros. Matthew Alfred Wells. And for the MBA Accelerated for Financial Specialists and Managers, Abdul Rahman Atif Qureshi. <laughs> Timothy Awusi. Diane Bogg. <laughs> Kamali 
Sweet Kawa Doshange. Samson Enowen Aguero. <laughs> Munfaz Mohammed Hajjaj Mohammed. <laughs> Mohammed A. Shiham Hussein. Harrison Mokhtar. <laughs> Mohammed Shamsul Masnari. <laughs> Kwok Kyung Yip. And for the MBA full for financial specialists and managers, Stanislav Chavala. <laughs> Colin John Davis. <laughs> Tan J. Young. Chan Ka Man. <laughs> Anastasia Connie Ukova. <laughs> Angela Diala List. Ilsa Pontuka. <laughs> Katie Schmidt Hussey. <laughs> Ian Snelson. Kanagasingam Sritharan. <laughs> Lim Nathaniel Ting Nan. <laughs> Christopher James Tyson. Chiong Yu Kong Malcolm <laughs> Peter Andrew Young <laughs> And for the MBA for Engineering Business Managers Asama IK Albas Gautam Shashikant Dalal. <laughs> Stephen Dixon. <laughs> Jumana L. Beiruthi. Bashar Farhat El Jabari. <laughs> Jack Hatch. <laughs> Mr. 
Mahmoud Keita. Cock Way <laughs> Philip Charles Mack <laughs> Frank Nairera Malola Andrew Wadada Manina. <laughs> Yasa Mohammed Masimi. <laughs> Atik Mia. Fintan Mitchell. <laughs> Daniel Peter Murnahan. <laughs> Ayodeli Anthony Ojo. Olatunji Yufo Manefi Rita Opara Vivek Pandey Ronald Ki Wong Shim <laughs> Vivek Singh <laughs> Rene Sorensen Jakob Lukas Solich Laszlo Bella Szplaki Sim Tang Fong Okel Tanya Maria Taylor. Johnny Tsuzan Ning Young. And for the postgraduate diploma in global business analysis, Divya Munjal. And in business administration, Fola Yinka Animum Asawan. And for the postgraduate certificate business administration, Eli Saliba. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in International Management with Honours, Richard Butters.
and in Management with Honours, Mark Alexander James Beckwith. Sam Clark. <laughs> Laura McIver. <laughs> and in management, international business economics with honours, Emma Rose Bartlett. On behalf of the university, I once again congratulate all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent achievements, and I wish you every success and happiness in your future lives and careers. I now declare the ceremony closed. Thank you.